quick thoughts on Caicedo. So after the tassel, Chelsea have paid what is close, I think, 115 million to get him to come. British uh, transfer record. record, defensive midfielder. Yeah. Look, he's a good player. I don't think he's worth 115 million. Mm. That one is That's for right. no yeah. debate. But as to whether what he brings to this Chelsea team is immense. Mm. Look, if you've watched him play yeah. for Brighton and for the Colombian national team at the mm -hmm. World Cup, you mm -hmm. clearly see that he's a proper deal. He's a proper number six. Let me just ask something. For that, for that kind of money paid, mm -hmm. are they trying to say that he's the best in the business in his position now? No. I, I don't think Chelsea and Brighton are in a position to determine who is the best in that business. It's just that this, the selling club says this is our valuation yeah. of him. Yeah. If you think he's worth that, man, you go and pay. Mm -hmm. I would never support my Manchester United to go and pay yeah. 115 million pounds for, for Kaiser. Yeah. I think on this market, mm -hmm. if Declan Rice had not gone for that, I think he would have gone for a maximum of 60 million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 60 million, I agree. But 115 is yeah. huge. But hey, somebody will say, <laughs> the Chelsea supporters will say it's not our money. Yeah. 115. They'll yeah. say it's not our money. Yeah. Yes, you've got in your player. But look, yeah. I think it is a, he's a player that they need. If you mm. watch them again today, yeah. you look at what Galahad did. I mean, he's an upgrade of Galahad. With all respect mm. to Galahad, he's a better upg upgrade of Galahad. He will take care of the ball better. He will pass the ball better. He will fill the gap. He will, he, I mean, he, mm. he's a proper player. And for, for me, what the, the player that will benefit the most mm -hmm. is Enzo Fernandez. Hmm. Because Fernandez now will not be so much concerned. And yeah. look, in the, in, in the big games, like Chelsea find themselves going to the Etihad, yeah. there, there wouldn't be anything wrong having a Caicedo, a Galaha, and an Enzo Fernandez. Hmm. There wouldn't be nothing wrong with that. <laughs> with Enzo Fernandez playing in front of the two of them. Yeah. And then you have, if by then Chelsea have a proper number nine, who can give them a proper outlet mm -hmm. in the route one, he stays there. And then you have two pacey wingers. There's yeah. this left... Pacey winger that they bought. I think he's injured, eh? The one they bought from the Dutch team. He has oh, a Nigerian name. Madweki. Madweki. Noni Madweki. Yeah, I think. He was on the bench today. Okay, so yeah. this Chelsea team are going to look solid. And if mm. you were to add Romeo Latvia, you know, I think in midfield, they will not be that young, yeah. but they will be young guys with proper appetite, mm. proper technical ability, proper footballing brains yeah. that can only improve and get better. Two, three years from now, hmm. Manchester United, all the other midfielders, yeah. Pate will be done. True. Casimero will be done. True. And United will have to do what Chelsea are, are trying to do now. But right now, I think mm. the fact that they are not playing the Champions League mm -hmm. will go a long way to help Mauricio Pochettino to work on these guys because at their age, if you have enough training sessions with them yeah. and he, guide them, he can coach the players into ah, what he really wants. They will wants. listen because there's no egos there. Yeah. Young, Young guys players. who are hungry for success. So look, it's a super super deal, and I think <clears throat> apart from the amount of money that has been paid, Chelsea have gotten their man. So the the word is that Chelsea have spent eight hundred. And 21 million pounds in three transfer windows since already. Todd Bowley took that over squad that. does not look like an 800 million pound squad to me. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm just no, saying because they pay for a potential. You look at the players that they've signed, they've it's, signed it's so, all many about young mm. so many so young players, so many young players. They brought back Kowo, gave him um, a new contract. Yeah. Um, they brought Caicedo, they brought um, Enzo Fernandez. Mudrick. These guys are yeah. under what 23 Mudrick, years, Madueke. exactly. Yeah. Mudrik, Madueke. Um, Chukwe Emeka, all of these guys, yeah. all of them under 23, under 24 years. And so once you bring in Caicedo, I love the tactical and flexibility it gives to uh, Mauricio Pochettino. Looking at the attackers that um, Chelsea have, if you have Caicedo in there, you can play a 4-3-3 system where you have Caicedo sitting as the pivot in the mm -hmm. middle and Enzo Fernandez and Konogala flanking him. Because... Enzo Fernandez, he can play that Mezala role. A guy who is so good, does everything so well, mm -hmm. like a Paul Pogba. And then you place him on the left side of that three-man midfield. Then you have your wingers supporting Nicholas Jackson. Or if you get um, a, a recognized striker, mm -hmm. then you can play him 
uh, central. But, but they have your Madweke, Mudrik, and Raheem Sterling yeah, manning the yeah. flanks. Why, why won't they sit with Juventus and do the exchange Vlahovic. between the Vlahovic and, 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 and Lukaku? I'm not sure what's going on, but they, 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 seem, they, they, they don't seem to want that swap. They don't, they don't it's very strange Vlahovic, for me. Yeah. Yeah. They, they seem to want money for Lukaku or something like that. So uh, it's it's very, and also, you can do a 4 2 3 1, the typical Mauricio yeah. Pochettino system, See, where need, you have Konogalaga and Kaiseido. Um, sitting in front of the uh, of the defense, then you have Enzo Fernandez playing as the guy playing behind the striker. Then and who he, scores he has the, the technical ability to who, scores who scores the goals? The goals. That is the most. And, and that was their biggest problem, problem last today. season. That is what they should be yeah. looking at. If you look in the world today, they are not going to get Osime. Osime nope. will be playing the Champions League, yep. waiting to be bought by a team like PSG or yeah. something. Okay. Okay. Chelsea. Team. They say you need a striker. The window is still open. Um, you are the new days cash FC. So spend the money, uh, bring in some new goal scorers. Let's get to the uh, Spanish La Liga. 